I'm here in Victoria Road with Giles Patterson, who's a member of the Cattershall Area Residents Association, to discuss the Keysight development. Giles, tell me how this development would affect the residents of Victoria Road. Okay, well, as you can see, this is a, it's a Victorian, um, beautiful, and many have argued listable um, terrace in Goldeming, actually, one of the very few proper terraces in Goldeming. Um, the development that's proposed um, at its lowest point is higher than any bit of this terrace. Uh, it rises up the hill, we're at the bottom of the hill here, uh, it rises up the hill to eight storeys where the um, current police station is. Um, it steps up one storey at a time up the slope. Um, views out of Victoria Road from the, um, that side uh, are going to be seriously impeded. They're all going to be looking right into the heart of this development. It's a very modern development, although we don't have a problem with modern. Uh, we do have a problem with the size and the bulk of it. It's way too big for its own footprint. Um, and it, compared with anything else in Godalming, it's, it's, it's enormous. Uh, we're talking 225 flats in uh, one and a half hectares, less than one and a half hectares. I think it's 140 dwellings per hectare, which is way beyond urban standards, minimum urban standards, well in excess. And before they actually change the figures, it's actually very, very close to city centre urban. Uh, densities. So how do you think it will affect the historic centre of Godalming? Um, it's been argued quite strongly that it won't by the developer but actually the historic centre of Godalming as it's defined um, is, is a very small compact area but, but, but radiating out from that and looking in towards the historic centre of Godalming you're going to see it from quite a number of different places. Um, a lot of them residential so although they don't count in planning terms um, Everybody who lives here, their perception of Godalming, I think, will be changed completely by uh, by this development. The views across the Lammas lands, views from South Hill up there, which are disregarded because um, people think that you know people in modern houses don't have opinions either. Um, the bigger context for Godalming is, is a social one, in that the nearest similar development to this is the atrium, uh, which was built by the same developer three years ago. There are 50 flats there. The majority of them, 60% um, I think, are buy to let, short term let, mostly six months. Um, that's not sustainable communities, that's not building stronger communities, all the, all the boxes that everyone likes to tick when they're sort of talking about these things. This development's going to be the same standard and same kind of development. We're talking 225 flats here. If 60% of those are buy to let, that has very little benefit to Godalming beyond Waitrose and the Tiny Moon, frankly, because they're all up in London during the day. Um, there's no affordable housing on the site, and that's an absolute key. Um, in terms of central Godalming, this is probably one of the cheaper places to buy a house at the moment. The flats, for the most part, will be of a similar price range uh, to these, um, but families won't want them. Because families want gardens, families want, families want houses, basically. They don't want flats, at least not when they come to Godalming. If they're living in London, then they, 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 might, not, they might have less choice in the matter. In Godalming, nobody moves out here to live in a flat, I don't think. Charles, thanks very much. Okay.